Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well. In this video, I want to address a comment from Aurora Nature Sounds, but before I do, I want to apologize for the fact that it took me so long to do it. So, back to the comment. Hi Nicole, again a great video. Thank you so much. I am struggling with advancing in my craft because there are so many things that can be done and so many rituals. I started to incorporate a few magical practices a day like blessing my house, my food, welcoming the new day every morning, blessing my car. But I am still afraid of more complicated rituals as I think if I fail something regarding that ritual something bad may happen. How do you how do we overcome this fear? Okay. So first of all that's very nice of you to bless everything because many blessings will return to you if you keep up with this practice so that's a nice one look till i got to the point that i am today i experimented a lot sometimes i experimented with dangerous things sometimes i experimented with ceremonial magic I experimented with evocation, heavy breathing exercises, shamanic practices, and so forth. But I am not giving you these examples to say, Ooh, look at me, how many things I did and tried. I am saying to you this, that at, I, at first I had no clue, no understanding in which direction I wanted to go. So that's why I experimented a lot to find something which in the end was under my nose. So my dear friend, if you have a fear of trying complicated things, well, good, because it's not at all needed to do all these things. I tried several stupid rituals, at least in the beginning stages, just for the sake of um, experimenting uh, and experiencing something out of the ordinary. But what I found out in the process is that you really don't need all of that. You see, it all starts with the ability to see energy. I think I already posted on my channel a video on how to see energy. But I shall repeat again the practice. And it is as follows. You have to look forward as you see on the screen right now. Now you focus while still looking forward, but you focus on what you see on the sides, on your peripheral vision. Well, if you watch the environment like this, soon enough you will see some sort of static energy pulsing in the air around you. An important point I want to make here is that when you will try to see the environment in this manner, you will observe that the thoughts in your mind are stopped almost completely. And your concentration is very, very sharp. Okay? So this is a very important fact that you have to notice here. Now, in order to get accustomed to this type of seeing, even more, after you succeeded to see this pulsing energy all around you, this static energy all around you in your home or apartment, try now to go outside and look at, the, at a tree or some sort of vegetation in this manner. Well, if you look at it, you'll soon be able to see a glow around the tree, okay? Just by looking at it using your peripheral vision, you will soon see a glow around it. Well, this is the aura. And if you look for a while at that aura, at a certain time, you will start to perceive even more. You will start to per perceive colors, the white will still be there, but you will be able to see even more. And if you continue to look further to the environment in this manner, well, soon you will be able to start to spot geometrical patterns. 
especially when you look at surfaces that have a more lighter color okay now if you want some chills around your spine and you are you are feeling pretty adventurous during the day when it's safe when it's light outside you don't need to do anything stupid or dangerous you can just try to go in your town in a cemetery and then and there try to use this peripheral vision okay while being in the cemetery well you will be able to spot things you will be able to see things in the corner of your eye okay but then probably you will blink and think that maybe you imagine it but you see this time you didn't you actually spotted something else so you see this is a basic technique it's a mechanical way in which you can start to go on and spot things out of the ordinary but you see whenever fear kicks in you can just stop and nothing bad can happen to you because you didn't evoke i don't know what deity you just used your power of observation and concentration and you can stop whenever you want so in my opinion if things get complicated in terms of magic in terms of spirituality um, probably they are far from the truth okay you are beating around the bush um, so you don't need to get rid of that fear because that fear it's um, a way in which your subconscious communicates to you that maybe what you intended to do maybe is not the right thing to do for you okay so obviously certain things uh, that cause you fear probably i don't know that fear maybe is not uh, reasonable and you can bypass it but in terms of rituals if you don't feel com comfortable to do them just don't do it then and stick to simple things and this method it's a very very easy one that anyone can do it and depending on the environment in which you use it you will be able to get uh, several results and what i recommend you is that if you use this technique try to keep a journal try try to keep track of the things that you see okay because if you use this simple basic method you will succeed and you will have your own experiences that you can rely upon you will not need any person or guru or i don't know what type of spiritual person to validate it because you will be the one that will experience it firsthand okay so that's all that I have to say in regards to this subject. I hope that this video was helpful to you and see you next time. Bye bye.